Well, today we're at plant one. I'm getting some stuff done on my RV. While they're working on it, I wanted to learn more about the underbelly, the chassis, and how things work. I found this 374 BHS chassis. It's getting ready to be an RV. Let's take a look at it and see what we can learn. This is plant one. And this is my fifth wheel. I'm Jay Jessup with Highland Ridge RV. This is my wife, Susie. These are our kids. This is our old house. And this is our new one. We're full-time RVers. Our home base is in Tennessee, just north of Nashville. We had a 21 Mesa Ridge, but now we have a 2022 Open Range 395 BHS. Yes, we've been through floods and some snowstorms. The holidays are fantastic. I tell you what, we're not turning back. We love it. Now, if you live in one of these states and you carry one of these RVs, I'm your rep. Let's do some training. Okay, the first thing I want to point out is that these tires are 12 ply F rated and the speed rating on them is M, which is rated to 81 miles per hour. It's good to know because I've been keeping it under 71. Since we're down here, take a look at this. We use uh, brass bushings and wet bolts on our, our leaf springs. You can um, grease these zerks right here, keep them working really well. And um, this is the Dexter uh, rubber bushing that is integrated into the leaf springs to give a softer ride. Take a look at this chassis. What makes it a wide body is these outriggers right here that come out, bring the walls to the outside. The furnace is gonna end up sitting right about here and that heat duct right there. Hooks up to the back of it, goes down to the underbelly. So you have airflow around the tanks and then there is a return to the bathroom. So in the zero degree testing, when we did that, it was 62 degrees in the black tank area. It has six jacks, uh, six jack automatic leveling system, and they have a manual override right here. It's a three quarter inch socket that goes into that hole. Right there, you can kind of see it. Um, and you can ratchet the jack down if you're out of stroke means that it's gone as far as it can go or whatever, and it's not gonna auto level for you. So much, sometimes you have to do it manually. Well, it's very rare, but I did have to do it once. So just remember, if you put it down manually, you have to bring it up manually because the system thinks it's still up. Okay, tanks, main bathroom, gray, black, to this extermination valve down here. It's really cool. It's at the bottom of that. Um, this is super thick on this side and super thin. So all of the waste goes down to the bottom and the pipe comes out of the very bottom, bottom side of that. That's the gray. It's kind of a double layer where the pipe goes up underneath and then it comes out there. Fresh water here and another gray for the kitchen and the half bath and black for the uh, half bath in the back bunk room. This is the rear extermination valve and this is the handle. And I've been curious as to know, you can tighten this right here, make sure that stays tight. You can screw that with a screwdriver to keep that little handle tight. But that little thing goes inside, okay? And it comes to this little, um, mechanism here where you can see um, right here that goes in there and then it pulls the uh, valve with this little guy here so it's all tight into this little section and it's angled up a little bit which is nice because the waste would come out of there and it wouldn't get stuck if you'll notice that's for the toilet that goes to the roof that is for the sink drain. That goes to the roof. Every holding tank has a vent to the roof. It's kind of funny because 
uh, I didn't know that and uh, I didn't want to run my black tank flush um, because I didn't want to put pressure on the toilet and blow water out into the bathroom. But uh, now I know it for sure because I can see it right here, right there. All of our wide body chassis have this sewer hose compartment and it holds a 15 foot sewer hose. Make sure they latch the door really well because mine opened and it went uh, down the road. Yeah, I usually now I put a zip tie through here. <laughs> yeah, it was like dragging out, out behind the RV. <laughs> okay, two more things. First thing, this VIN number is riveted onto the chassis. So if the sticker on the corner of the RV ever falls off, it's underneath somewhere. And the hitch on the back is a 3,000 pound tow weight rating with 300 pound pin weight. Well, I hope you guys learned something today in that video. I know I did. Uh, call me if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. 615-934-0360. I'll talk to you soon. Own the outdoors with Highland Ridge RV.